A warm greeting, today is Sunday, September 3, 2023. I'm meteorologist Ruben Garcia. At the time of recording this video, it's 6.30 in the morning, local time in the Eastern Caribbean, where we continue to monitor the evolution of Invest 95. In this video, I wanted to provide an update on the forecast and specifically discuss the latest predictions from global models. At least during this morning, there is better consensus among the models, where Invest 95 is expected to become a hurricane but pass just northeast of the Caribbean, which is definitely good news for the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. If we zoom in on the infrared satellite animation, we can see Invest 95 has been generating strong thunderstorms near its center during this morning. While it is still far from becoming a tropical cyclone, this disturbance appears quite healthy and shows some signs of cyclonic organization. At 2 a.m., the National Hurricane Center maintains a 70% chance of development into a tropical depression as it moves west-northwest over the next seven days. Additionally, Invest 95 has a 30% chance of becoming a tropical depression within the next 48 hours. Let's take a look at the latest trajectory forecasts from specialized models. Notice that this morning, there is much better consensus that it should maintain a west-northwestward movement, and by the upcoming weekend, models agree it should pass northeast of the Caribbean. Currently, it appears to be at a safe distance from the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. Remember that last night, I mentioned there were two possible scenarios, one showing a northeastward trajectory by the European model and the other, by the American model, bringing it further west into the Caribbean. Yesterday, I also mentioned that the European model had a better forecast for this future cyclone, and that consensus continues this morning. However, it is important for residents of the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico to remain vigilant about the evolution of Invest 95 as it is likely to strengthen into an intense Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane when it moves through this area. So, it is worth monitoring this disturbance in case there are any changes in its trajectory. To reiterate, this morning brings good news with a better consensus that it should pass northeast of the Caribbean. Although it's still too close to completely guarantee it will stay clear of the Caribbean islands, the models continue to predict very favorable atmospheric conditions in the northeast Caribbean for the future tropical storm lead to rapidly intensify. The models already depict a Category 3, 4, or 5 hurricane when it moves north of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. For example, during the early hours of next Sunday, when future Hurricane Lee is positioned in the Northeast Caribbean, you can see it has a quite strong upper-level anticyclone. This ensures good ventilation in all quadrants of the system and provides optimal conditions for rapid strengthening. In fact, the intensity models are becoming more aggressive, showing significant strengthening by Thursday and Friday. Some of them already have a Category 3 hurricane between Friday and Saturday as it approaches the Northeast Caribbean. We've also seen some changes in the ensemble members of the American model. Notice that the majority of them now have a trajectory passing 150 to 250 miles northeast of the Caribbean. This is a significant shift from what they showed yesterday with a more westward trajectory. Additionally, approximately 15% of the GFS model members still show a trajectory over the Lesser Antilles and possibly very close to Puerto Rico. While this scenario is less likely at the moment, it's why we need to remain attentive in the coming days. On the other hand, the ensemble members of the European model, for the most part, maintain a trajectory well northeast of the Caribbean. However, around 5% of the members have a trajectory closer to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. It's worth mentioning that the lines in pink represent the potential for a Category 4 or even Category 5 hurricane when it moves north of Puerto Rico. Invest 95 could indeed become a Category 5 hurricane. So, how close could it pass to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico? Let's specifically look at the midnight runs of the best global models. Here we have the GFS model, which, in the late hours of Saturday, has a tropical storm crossing over the northern Lesser Antilles and the Virgin Islands. The GFS model still has the trajectory of future tropical storm Lee further south. At least the GFS model predicts that for it to pass so close to the Caribbean, it would have to be a tropical storm that is likely intensified more to the right. We also have the European model, which remains very consistent in showing a trajectory well northeast of the Caribbean, approximately 200 miles northeast of the Lesser Antilles. Notice that on Sunday morning, it depicts a powerful hurricane, possibly Category 4, but passing at a safe distance from the Caribbean region. The German model forecast has a trajectory between what the European model and the GFS model show. Currently, it has a Category 1 hurricane passing about 100 miles northeast of the Caribbean on Sunday morning. Another very accurate model, the UK model, shows a tropical storm passing between 75 to 100 miles northeast of the Caribbean during Saturday night. Finally, 
The Canadian model has a trajectory somewhat similar to the GFS model but has a Category 2 hurricane skirting the islands north of the Lesser Antilles during Sunday morning. Certainly, we now have a consensus that Invest 95 is forecasted to pass between 100 to 200 miles northeast of the Caribbean. Although this seems like a safe distance, we are talking about a 7-day forecast. There could be some changes, and since conditions will be optimal for it to become a powerful hurricane, it is worth continuing to monitor its evolution. In the long term, where could this cyclone move? It's really difficult to say with such advance notice, but let's look at long-term projections. Here are the projections from the ensemble members of the American model. Basically, all of them indicate it should take a north-northeastward turn in about 10 days, and at the moment, it appears that it won't approach the United States. However, the island of Bermuda should definitely pay close attention to this future hurricane. Similarly, the ensemble members of the European model, all of them show the future cyclone taking a north-northeastward turn in about 8 to 10 days, which would take it over open waters of the Atlantic and away from the United States. Although it appears that Bermuda might be at risk. Well, that's it for this forecast update. In the afternoon or evening, I'll be recording another video to discuss any changes that may have occurred in the new projections. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the red button below that says subscribe. Then click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new content. I hope you all have an excellent Sunday. Until next time.